I wanted to talk a little bit about this concept of critical edition and how important this is. Because as you go through the list of books I've put on the recommended book list, you're going to see a lot of scholarly books. And you may wonder about that, because for the most part, the people who are preparing these are not extremely well versed in the details and the specifics of the practice of astrology, although sometimes they can surprise you a little bit. But what a lot of these editions are is what are called critical editions. Now, what's a critical edition? To understand this, you have to understand the difference between how books were produced before and after printing. Because after printing, what William Lilly went through was not tremendously different from what I went through when I published my books, which is you put together a manuscript, although in his case he had to write it out longhand. Um, that manuscript is submitted to the publisher, the publisher typesets it, and then the book is printed. Now, there may be uh, later editions where corrections are made, editions are made, and so forth. But basically, everybody who bought the 1647 edition of William Lilly's Christian Astrology got the same book. In the period before printing, this is not true, because what happens there is that an author wrote a manuscript, and then all other copies that anybody read had to be recopied, from that author's manuscript, and of course, somebody recopies a copy, and recopies a copy of a copy, and recopies a copy of a copy. And so you see there that you have a lot of opportunities for problems to crop up. You have scribal errors. You have cases where the scribe didn't understand the word choice um, of the author. You have cases where the author writer's handwriting is absolutely illegible. So you've got a lot of opportunities for changes to take place. Also, during the medieval period and during the ancient period, because the same idea applies to the ancient period except worse, because for the most part we don't have editions of their manuscripts until they were um, recopied in um, the period from the 8th century on. Um, but scribes sometimes made comments, and you weren't always sure whether the comments were from the original or from later. So what a lot of scholarly activity on manuscripts from these periods is about is producing what's called a critical edition. In a critical edition, the scholar who does this finds every single copy of a particular manuscript that he or she can lay hands on or lay microfilm on uh, or lay whatever techniques on. Then what you do is you take all of these manuscripts and you line them up paragraph by paragraph, sentence by sentence, and look for the variations. And looking at the variation, you attempt to come up with what is the most plausible reading. Now, this issue of plausible reading is extremely important because here is where having the astrological knowledge is important. Uh, because sometimes what somebody who doesn't understand the text so much might pick as plausible is not what we as practitioners might pick as most plausible. So this can introduce some errors. But one of the things I want to point out is that just about all of the translations that have been published by astrologers for astrologers are not critical editions. They consist of a single manuscript, or sometimes they had reference to several manuscripts. But the process of putting together a critical edition is a rather tedious process, as you can imagine. And in most cases, the um, compromise, if you will, that these astrologers made was to say it's more important to get the text available to other astrologers to use than to go through this process of critical edition, which can take years. So understand this is a compromise, and there are various points during this course where I may bring up specific issues related to this, so it's important that right from the front you understand what this process of critical edition is about and why it would be a really good thing if we had critical editions of all of the translated astrological material.